Hi, I'm Timothy Purcell, and I'm doing some business calculus today for my Math 1325 class. We're, in this case, we're using the second derivative to determine concavity. We want to find the intervals on which the function is concave upward or concave downward, and find the location of all points of inflection. We have the function f of x equals 3x cubed minus 4x minus 8. Remember, if a graph is concave upward, the second derivative is positive. If a graph is concave downward on an interval, the, gra uh, the second derivative is negative. And before the second derivative can change from positive to negative, it either has to equal 0 or undefined. Basically, we're applying the first derivative test to f prime, determining when is f prime positive, of when is f prime increasing and when is f prime decreasing. So, let me move this up. There's my function. Let me rewrite it. 3x cubed minus 4x minus 8. We find f prime. Before we find the second derivative, we have to find the first derivative. That's a 9x squared minus 4. Then we find f double prime. That's just what, an 18x? Well, these are polynomial functions. They're always defined, and the derivatives are always defined. So we don't have to worry about f double prime being undefined. Set f double prime equal to 0, and that'll give us x equals 0. So if concavity is going to change, It'll occur, it'll change when x is 0. So we draw ourselves a number line. There's 0. And we're going to look at the sign of f double prime. When we were using the first derivative test to find uh, the location of local extrema and increasing and decreasing intervals, I would write out beside the number line sine of f prime. Now that I'm using the second derivative, we determine the concavity, so I make a note sine of f double prime. We'll choose a number to the left of negative 1, I mean to the left of 0, we'll test negative 1, and to the right of 0, we'll test maybe a positive 1, I guess something easy to plug in. So we have f double prime at negative 1. Plugging in negative 1, we'd have an 18 times negative 1. The exact value doesn't matter. All that matters is that f double prime is negative. And if f double prime is negative, if f double prime is negative, If f double prime, the motion sensor just cut out the lights again, so just forget it. I mean, just uh, forgive it when, uh, forgive me when the lights go out here. So, oh, here, coming back to what we were doing. When f double prime is negative, the graph is concave downward. To the right, when f double prime, let's see, that's an 18 times a positive 1. 18 times a positive 1. That means f double prime is positive, so concave upward. f double prime is positive, concave upward. So we want to know when is the graph concave, on which interval is the graph concave upward, on which interval is it concave downward. So concave upward and concave downward. The graph is concave upward from 0 to infinity. The graph is concave downward from negative infinity to 0. We're also asked to determine the location of any points of inflection. Remember, points of inflection are ordered pairs at which the graph uh, changes concavity. A graph can change concavity on either side of a vertical asymptote or at a cusp. Uh, uh, but here, uh, we have an ordered pair. Plug in 0 into our function when x is 0, when x is 0, you plug it into the original function to get the y coordinate, we have an ordered pair of 0, negative 8. And make a note 
to get that negative 8 to create those ordered pairs you are plugging into the original function you plugged 0 into f of x the original function to determine the ordered pair okay once again this is Timothy Priscilla bye bye